and welcome back to Low Carb for Life. I'm going to be doing another new wave demonstration. Um, I'm going to be making Cornish hens, another very low carb, great, delicious meal. I've had numerous emails and comments on the new wave, so I would like to show you how to do a Cornish hen frozen and how quick and easy and tasty it is. I have already taken the packaging off my Cornish hens and I've rinsed them. And I'm going to set them in here, and this calls for having the rack upside down so it's the lower level. I'm going to set them on here. Now, in my instructions that I got with the Cornish hen thing, uh, I know you probably won't be able to see it, but it actually has a Cornish hen thing on here, and it says that it, from frozen it's going to take 50 minutes. So, but we'll keep an eye on that. I'm also going to season them with Montreal steak seasoning. It's a grill mates. Um, we have found that this gives it a really nice, almost rotisserie taste. It won't stick that good being frozen, but I can season it again as I start. Okay, then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my lid on. And I have my power level at high, which is 10. And I'm going to do it for, I'm going to set it for 50 minutes, but I'm, I'm going to keep an eye on it minutes and it's starting. So I'm going to come back and maybe halfway through and show you how it's doing, put some more seasoning on it, let you know the time and what it looks like and I'll be right back. Hi, welcome back. It's been about halfway so I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off this. Remember where your time was. Mine says 20 minutes left. I'm going to turn it off. I smell wonderful. Okay, now you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. I have a half of a stick of real butter that I melted, and I'm just going to baste them. You don't have to do this, but I think it would make them taste really good. And they look, they look really, really good. They're coming along. I'm also going to flip them and get the underneath. Okay, I'm going to be right back and get my little turner. Okay, just flip them around. And I can tell you that the skin on it is getting nice and golden and feels a little bit like crunchy, like almost if you were to do a rotisserie. And I'm going to baste this side. put some more seasoning on them and then I'm going to read you know put them on for the rest of the 20 minutes and I will come back and show you the end result. Hi we're back and I did add about 10 more minutes on but I temp them and they're done. I normally would use this little rack thing here to set the top of the new wave on but because I'm showing you in a video do you, I don't know if you can see real well but it's all nice and brown looks really really good I did temp them to be on the safe side to make sure our meat is all temped and good and we're going to have a side of asparagus I did want to show you how nice and this just pulls right from the bone Mm. Tastes wonderful. Okay, well, this has been another video from Low Carb for Life. Try out your new wave if you don't have one. Go buy one. They're excellent. They make everything taste juicy and good. And it's usually pretty much a short time of waiting to have a great tasting chicken, steak, anything. Well, thanks for watching.